Yo, welcome everyone. It looks like Bitcoin reached its temporary bottom and many are now getting scared and even trapped at this very important support level, not knowing what to expect next. Now, what we are going to see happened exactly at this specific support level, for example, on the one hour time frame. We first of all bottomed on the gold Fibonacci ratio right here, got some kind of a push towards the upside, we took out the low once more, we got another push towards the upside, and also another push down, another swing failure pattern or a liquidity grab, breaking through our last low right here, and at the moment we are seeing another push towards the upside. Now, you might might be wondering why we are getting so many swing failure patterns or liquidity grabs exactly at this specific area. Remember, before we can expect a move towards the upside, before we can expect another all-time high maybe even, we want to wreck as many people as possible. So people that are holding right now a long or a buying position, or I would say many that were holding a long or a buying position, have already got stopped out or liquidated. How do I know that? When we pay attention to the liquidations that came in the market only a couple of hours ago, you're going to notice that long positions got liquidated on the push towards the downside, and only as of right now, we are seeing some kind of a bigger push towards the upside from our golden Fibonacci ratio. Now, later in the video, we are going to talk about if looking for a long or a buying position at the area where we are trading at the moment is a smart idea, but nevertheless, yesterday I posted a very interesting tweet that is very, very important. Bitcoin hit the golden Fibonacci ratio, but let's see if it holds because the first theoretical target, it's actually lower at 63,700 US dollars. That being said, we need to pay attention to 0.618 Fibonacci extension level at 63,700 US dollars right here. More about our lower targets and the trading ideas slightly later. Now we need to identify if the golden Fibonacci ratio is going to hold and we are simply going to continue higher or if our targets have a higher probability of actually being hit. For that, we are going to use a very simple volume indicator on the two hourly or also actually on the one hourly time frame. For the entire time we are right now seeing this specific push towards the upside, the volume on Bitcoin is going lower and lower and lower. And not only on the Bybit chart, we can even go on the Coinbase chart where we are going to notice volume has been going lower and lower and lower while Bitcoin is right now seeing a slight rise towards the upside. So when we pay attention to the volume indicator, this right here is not a bullish Bitcoin indication. So I would actually say that looking right now at the Bitcoin price itself, most probably we are looking for lower targets. That being said, 0.618 Fibonacci extension level, or preferably maybe even slightly lower at our one-to-one -one Fibonacci extension at 58,700 US dollars, unless in the upcoming hours, we are going to be able to reclaim our very important areas of resistances. Now, before we talk about the resistances, I just want to mention that you can as of right now still be looking to buy a lot of different altcoins. Why so? Because because many of them have gotten a major push towards the downside. For example, Ethereum, significant retracement, also Cardano, also Polkadot, Chaining, a lot of different altcoins are seeing a big push towards the downside, and that is why, in my opinion, it's a good idea to be looking to at least accumulate the altcoins where we are trading at the moment on Bitcoin, or if we go slightly lower, buy even more. Because, in my opinion, the bull market is literally around the corner, or it may even start and be because of that, we are looking for another all-time high, not only on Bitcoin, but most probably also on different altcoins. And if you want to trade with us, it's very helpful for you to be actually securing some limited time bonuses using the links below after initial deposit, because you do have three very good options ready for you. Now, let's talk about what is going to be a sign of strength for us to then actually say, okay, it looks like Bitcoin bottomed out at the golden Fibonacci ratio, and most probably then we are looking for higher targets. It's it's actually quite simple for us to identify right now our areas of resistances because yesterday we also talked about a very important area of support that unfortunately it was broken towards downside. So on the four hour time frame when we are measuring the entire upper price action, we are right now going to identify the biggest volume cluster which is the point of control at 67,000 US dollars. This right here is as of right now our biggest volume area of resistance. Now zooming in a 
little bit, we can also apply our high from time from areas of resistance on our chart. And you can notice weekly high from time from level very close towards our point of control. And on top of that, zooming in even further on the one hour time frame, we can notice we do have two very important highs exactly at the weekly and exactly at the point of control or the biggest volume cluster. So I would say like that. The first area of resistance for us to pay attention to is slightly higher than the area where we are trading at the moment, and reclaiming this specific level, it's going to already be some kind of a sign of strength. However, I would not flip immediately bullish after reclaim our weekly and also after we potentially reclaim our point of control because another very important resistance level is slightly higher at 68,300 US dollars. I would say Bitcoin bottomed out at the golden Fibonacci ratio area of support only if this specific area of resistance is going to be reclaimed in the upcoming hours, in the upcoming days at 68,300 US dollars because then we are going to know, okay, previous lows and also our previous highs were able to see a reclaim towards the upside bullish indication and let's immediately look for a brand new all time high but at the moment you need to know that the weekly and the point of control it's a very strong area of resistance because we do have our previous highs right here we also need to know that this resistance level at 68,300 it's a very important level and on top of that also when you go with Fibonacci retracement from the swing high back towards the swing low you're going to notice 0.3 to Fibonacci retracement level exactly at our weekly, exactly at our previous highs right here, exactly at the point of control, slightly higher, we do have our 0.5 aligning some kind of with this specific area of resistance. So we do have two very important resistances above us and I would definitely say pay attention to those specific two levels because most probably if we right now know that the entire push towards the upset is happening with low volume we might even expect another rejection from our areas of resistances and then see another push towards downside for us to then actually reach our first important or maybe even second even more important area of support at 59,000 US dollars right here on the Bitcoin chart now when we go with the exponential moving averages, we are right now seeing also a slight bearish indication. Why so? Because when we go on the two hourly time frame, we are as of right now experiencing a bearish cross of our 50 and 200 exponential moving average. Yesterday, we already said that on the one hourly time frame, we are experiencing a cross right here, which means the trend towards the upside is right now weakening. And at the moment, also, we can say the same thing on the two hourly time frame. The trend towards the upside is weakening because of this specific cross i wouldn't really say that this right here is a significant bearish indication because we all need to know that this right here is only a slight bearish indication but nothing major and i would even say if we are going to go lower on bitcoin towards our important targets right here this right here it's only going to be indication that yes we got a very slight weakening of the uptrend but nevertheless overall we are still in the uptrend and most probably we can still expect higher targets to be reached on the bitcoin price itself so how can we right now be looking to trade bitcoin Bitcoin as of right now. I would say like that. To go with a long or a buying position at this specific area, it's not really the trade that does have the highest probability of playing out, as mentioned before, because our first theoretical target still has not been reached. That is why I would say like that. Looking for a long or a buy right here, it's slightly more riskier, but if you do feel slightly riskier, you can be looking for a long or a buy, then of course with the stop loss below our previous lows, or actually slightly higher for you to have potentially a good risk to reward ratio. The best long position I do see at the moment on Bitcoin is going to be if we start going lower for us to then actually hit 59,000 US dollars area of support, which is then actually going to be our one to one Fibonacci extension aligning with the liquidity level right here, and only then go with a long or a buy position. But in terms of if you should be right now already be looking to buy some altcoins, I would say yes, because a lot of them have already gotten quite a significant push towards downside, dollar cost average into different altcoins. And then, in my opinion, we are when, of course, Bitcoin final bottoms out at this specific area, maybe at 0.618 or maybe even at our one to one. Fibonacci extension, most probably then we can be looking for much higher targets on the Bitcoin price and also on different altcoins. Now, if you want to buy some altcoins and also trade with us, secure some limited time bonuses using the links below. And thank you for smashing up the like button.